So recently I've been kind of bad, <laughs> not bad, but I've just been very lazy and been, have been procrastinating on a lot of things. The post holiday period is always kind of weird for me. It's been so hard for me to get back into the work mindset, I guess, because you know, when you're on holidays, you're, you're like permanently on rest vacation mode and it's been hard for me to switch out of that. So the past week I've really, really, fallen behind on a lot of things that I should have been doing. I've been trying to be better to myself about taking rests and, and breaks. I feel like, you know, in the past, whenever I would take a break, I would feel almost bad about it and I would yell at myself, you know, and say like, Amanda, why are you taking a break? You don't deserve to take a break. But this year, my goal is really to learn how to take rests and be okay with it because it's really important. And it's kind of hard for me to untrain myself from that mindset because I am so used to like work, 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 work. So you know what? It's okay that I did took a week off procrastinating on all my tasks. That just means I need to work harder today. So I've assigned today as like my productive catch up day post holiday, which will be good. I'm actually gonna like get ready and everything too today. I've mentioned this before, but getting ready is really therapeutic to me. If I just stay in my pajamas all day and try to work from home, in my pajamas, there's no separation in the day, which means my mind is still in sleep mode. So getting ready, even though I'm not going out anywhere, <laughs> we're still kind of on lockdown here in Toronto and um, I work from home obviously. So I don't need to get ready technically, but it really does help. So I've been trying to do that a lot more and I've found that it helps me a lot with my productivity. So I'm gonna do that. Where are your sunscreen kiddos? even if you're inside. Okay, I finished my makeup. I'm just gonna eat a little bit of breakfast while my hair air dries a bit. And then I'll quickly do my hair and then we'll get started with the, the work day. So let's get it. I'm just eating some, what type of loaf is this? Um, it's like gingerbread loaf. It's pretty good. It tastes really good with coffee. Okay, it looks like my hair is fully dried now, so I'm gonna quickly curl it a little bit. And guys, I've been getting so many comments and questions from you guys about my hair recently. I don't know what it is. Every time I look in the comments of my videos, there's a top comment about my hair. And then even during my streams and in my DMs, people have been asking me like how I saw my hair. Um, they say that it's been looking so much healthier, which I'm very happy and proud of because I agree. I think it's been looking a lot healthier and a lot better. It's been kind of like an underlying journey on this channel of me regaining my hair health after doing that whole bleach thing. <laughs> I wanted to quickly run down what I've been doing with my hair in terms of hair care. This video is sponsored by Function of Beauty, so thank you to them. If you guys don't know about Function of Beauty yet, they are actually the current shampoo and conditioner line that I'm using um, and basically on their website you can fill out a two minute hair care personalization quiz so it's really customizable and personal they even print your name on your shampoo and conditioner bottles which I think is really cute and of course the most important part is what's actually going on in your hair so it is 100% vegan cruelty free and there's no parabens sulfates toxins or GMOs this is my current formula mine is super focused on hair health hair repair, hydration, shine, all of that. And I love it. I've been using the same formula for the full year. This is actually my second bottle. These are my empties from this year. One of my all time favorite scents in the world is pear and they actually have that as a scent option. So mine is pear scented, I love it. And you can even choose no fragrance at all, which is great if you're really sensitive to fragrance and perfumes and stuff like that. And then finally, in terms of products, the only other thing that I use in my hair is the hair serum, the Function of Beauty hair serum. And with this, all I do is I pump a couple pumps in my hand, run it through the bottom half of my hair when it's damp, and then it just adds that extra little bit of shine after I've styled it 
It looks great. I love it. If you guys want to try out Function of Beauty for yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below for 20% off your first order. But yeah, that's everything in terms of hair care. I'm going to go ahead and style my hair. Since there's only a few strands left, um, I wanted to show you quickly how I curl my hair. Basically, I'm just using this like one inch curling wand. It just has a clamp. Um, and instead of wrapping it around the barrel like this, which I find gives you like very croissanty hair, like, I don't know, it's very twisty, not as natural. Personally, I want like S waves in my hair. So what I've been doing recently is I'll just take a strand of my hair um, and I'll start at the, the very top at the base so that it gets more volume because, you know, you want to curve downwards. So I'll literally just clamp it like this and then I'm holding my hair kind of loosely. Once I have hold, held it for like a few seconds, you see there's like a dent there and I just switch my wrist kind of like that so that now it goes under and wraps around. So you're creating that like S shape. And then I'm gonna do it, I hope you guys can see well. And then once you hold it on there, you twist your wrist again so that now the clamp is going over. The only thing that I like to make sure is that the ends are always curving inwards towards my face like that. And then once I do that, like look at how perfectly wavy that curl is. <laughs> I didn't mean for this whole vlog to become about my hair, but you know, we're going with it. Ow, just burned myself. In order to get even more volume, I'll just take the top layer of my hair and just hold the curling iron so that you get like more volume up top. If you want your hair to cool in that position, I'll just take these clips and clip my hair so that the volume is up like that. But they're just these like claw clips and I'm literally clipping the volume up together it looks kind of funny, but it cools down like that, which is nice. What I like about this method is that I don't need to put in a lot of product. A lot of people will put in like dry shampoo and sea salt spray and all of it, and then your hair just feels super crunchy. But I feel like already I haven't even added any, any products to it. My hair looks pretty natural, which means I can reduce the amount of products that I put in my hair. Sometimes I'll just spray some hairspray or something in it, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna let down my little sprouts now, now that they've cooled down. There you go. Like, look at all that volume. All right, there we go. Hair done, let's get it. <laughs> I need to stop saying let's get it. I just don't know how to end off vlog clips. <sighs> All right, lunch time. For lunch, I'm just eating some leftovers. I have some Brussels sprouts and vegetables. I feel like it doesn't look that appetizing, but it's just vegetables. And then I have some turkey meatballs here. So I'm just gonna eat that. Uh, this morning, I finished a lot of the desk work that I had to do. A lot of times my mornings will be dedicated to administrative things like emails. That's also when I'll bullet journal to plan out the rest of my day, what else I need to do for the week, any calls or meetings that I have to do for shop stuff, kind of around the morning period. But after lunch, after I finish eating, I'm probably just gonna, I, I oh, I need to record a voiceover for my video, upload that, and then I think I need to head out to the bank and the post office to get some other errands done. Kind of a random, boring day, but that's also pretty much most of the days during Toronto lockdown quarantine. I've gotten used to it, but of course it's it's been kind of tough, especially living alone during lockdown. I'm obviously I'm very lucky and grateful that I'm able to have a job and still work and be healthy during all of this, but living alone during the pandemic has been an interesting struggle for me and I think a lot of other people who live alone can relate. 
I consider myself an introvert so at the beginning I was like I don't need to go to any of my social obligations you know I can stay at home I'm definitely a homebody but now that I really don't have the choice it's kind of like oh, wow I really took for granted social interactions. If any of you guys are living alone during lockdown, let me know what you've been doing to stay sane. I feel like that could be its own support group. For me, it's just been trying to find small ways to break out of that really redundant routine. Like yesterday, I went skating a little bit. That was good. But other than that, I don't know. I feel like I'm a fish in a fishbowl, like swimming around the same, the same small radius in my apartment. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll make it through, guys. I'm gonna record my voiceover now. This is actually my least favorite part of making a video. I don't know what it is about recording voiceovers, but I hate it. I think it's because at that point, the video is so close to being done and I just want it to be out in the world. And the only thing stopping me is speaking into a microphone, which I end up messing up a ton and re-recording a lot, which is funny because a lot of you guys say that you find my voice relaxing during the bullet journal videos. I get two comments, it's either your voice is relaxing or two, you sound like you're about to cry or you sound like you're sick. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> I'm finally done the video. I finished the voiceover. It took me a lot longer than I expected. It looks way later right now because in Toronto, it gets pitch black at like 4 p.m. Oh my god, why am I so out of it right now? I'm gonna publish it literally right now, so... And it is up, my friends. Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to do a lot of the things, like the outside errands that I had been meaning to do today. I wanted to go to the bank to do some, like, bank transfer things and then drop stuff off at UPS to ship out but that'll have to wait for tomorrow because everything is closed now. What I think I'm gonna do is clean my closet. I'm a little embarrassed to show you guys this. My closet is actually a ridiculous mess and I've been living with it like that for the past week. Whenever I put off these tasks, I make it seem like such a big deal and then once I actually finish, I'm like, wow, Amanda, that really wasn't as hard as you made it out to be. So I'm sure it'll be fine, but I'll show you guys. This closet is an actual mess. And that'll take us right to dinner time. So I'll probably have to get some groceries or something and make some food after that. I don't really want to talk about this. <laughs> the drawers don't even close. I don't even know how I've been getting stuff out of my closet. I've just been squeezing my fingers through the cracks to try to grab anything. I need to fix that. Time is a social Look at this. Marie Kondo would be losing her mind if she saw this. How did I let it get to this point? Guys, look, the drawers actually close. It's a success. All right, I'm just gonna go head out and get some groceries for dinner.
worked up a sweat cooking, but I finished. It's just pasta with vegetables. I put some cherry tomatoes, zucchini, red onion, garlic, mushrooms, and then um, this is Beyond Meat sausage, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm really not the greatest cook in the world. This is probably like the extent of my cooking capabilities, just stir frying vegetables and throwing pasta <laughs> with it. But whenever I do cook, I just make sure to make a lot of it so that I don't need to for the next couple of days because I'm very lazy. Cooking is just so much effort. I don't know how people cook every day. Pretty good, you know? You can never go wrong with pasta. So I should probably wrap up this video because I'm about to pass out from a pasta induced coma. Every time I eat pasta, I just want to curl up into a ball and sleep. Uh, I think I'm losing it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I always feel like these vlogs are kind of boring, but then you guys say you enjoy them. So hopefully seeing my semi-productive day was entertaining in some way. Amanda, you did well. You did enough today. Pat yourself on the back. You guys too, pat yourself on the back. For the rest of the night, I'm probably just gonna chill a bit, maybe clean up a bit more around my apartment because there's still some clutter and stuff. And then maybe listen to some music on my record player, which I do every night, but uh, <laughs> this was fun. I hope you have an awesome day. Keep doodling and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.